Good morning, folks. It's 5.15 a.m. on day 147. 147. Goodness. I'm at uh, Harrison's Pierce Pond Camp. Mm, in a cabin, which is really nice. Um, but I'm going to wake up because breakfast is going to be pretty soon. And uh, i got to pack up all my stuff before that, so... Yep, we'll be up. We'll get going. We'll cross the Kennebec. Alrighty folks, 7.44, just leaving uh, Harrison's Pierce Pond camp after breakfast here. Man, this place is truly, truly, truly exceptional. I was telling uh, Tim, the uh, owner, I think this is like the third place on trail that pretty much immediately slapped, snapped itself into my must return category. So there was, um, you know, and as far as places I'd love to return to with my siblings or my wife or friends or something, um, there was the Deerhead Inn in um, Water Gap, Delaware Water Gap, Pennsylvania. Oh gosh, I forget the second one now. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, Dowd's, Dowd's Country Inn and Tavern in Lyme, New Hampshire. And then, uh, and then this joint, which just, I mean, Sorry, as I don't look at the camera, this ground is all groovy, but kind of treacherous if I don't pay attention. Um, yeah, and then this joint, man, just just really, really fantastic. I mean, just great. Tim's a freaking legend. I mean, he's such a nice dude, such a cool guy, um, and such an amazingly just unique property, man. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, so today, as I said this morning, we're gonna cross the Kennebec, which is pretty wonderful. Should just be about four miles away or so, three or four miles away. Um, so we'll skedaddle down there. Hopefully an hour and 15 is enough for me to get there. It may not be, whatever. It doesn't really matter if I'm not there at nine, I can just take the next boat, which honestly might wind up happening anyways. Um, gosh, this is just so beautiful. Um, yeah, and then uh, we'll cross the Kennebec, we'll keep moving. I mean, the dream of dreams, if the hand holds up and the terrain holds up and my will holds up and everything feels good and clicks along, the dream of dreams is to go 22 today, um, but I am 100% comfortable with not going that far if for any reason whatsoever I choose not to go that far. Um, but waking up this morning, I'm 40 miles from, uh, from Shaw's in Monson, Maine, um, which is gonna be the next, the next landing spot and um, you know, 40, whatever I don't do today, I do tomorrow, basically, you know, so I prefer to do 22 today and 18 tomorrow, but, you know, that's fine. I mean, I'm also going to be getting a slightly later start this morning, right, at a quarter to eight, because that wonderful, wonderful breakfast. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's about all I got this morning. We're going to get back on trail, hoof this floor, whatever, cross this river, whatever. All right, I see what happened, sorry. My dead reckoning had me all turned around and the sign was conflicting with my instinct, but I see what happened. All right, we're back on trail, we'll keep moving. I will uh, definitely check in with you guys at the river, if not before, well, not. I won't check in before, but I might film some stuff before. Anyways, river, talk to you then.
right, 9, 10. And there's the mighty Kennebec. Pretty fantastic. 9, 10 and already, let's see, 73, 74.8 degrees. It's gonna be a scorcher today. I think it's gonna get up to the mid 80s, but here we are at the river getting ready to cross. Should be great. Maggie is the official fairy dog. You're a good pup, Mag. I hope you have fun being a dog. All right, we're officially on the north side of the mighty Kennebec here at uh, 10.03 on day 147. Pretty wicked. Alrighty folks, 8.01 p.m. Just finished up that little snack. Just had some, uh, you know, one of those like little like peanut butter on toasted cheese cracker pack things and uh, granola bar as well. Um, so I think I'm about halfway through for my snacks, my snacks for the day. Um, thought I'd turn on while I'm still up at the mountaintops so that you could get some views as I talk about health. Um, gonna be a quick video, really nothing has changed in health. No, I'm just teasing. Obviously, if you're watching these videos, you know, um, broke, broke the left hand a couple days ago, or not even more than that. Oh, look at this. Look at what we have here. Them some blueberries, y'all. This one's a little soft. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, man, that might slow me down. That's real good. <laughs> slow me down because I'm going to be eating them, I mean. Um, yeah, broke my hand. Um, if you've watched all the other videos, I won't bother recapping exactly, you know, all the particulars of negotiating with insurance. My goodness. Fantastic. Um, but, you know, the hand's definitely broken, and it's, it's pretty well, pretty well swollen up and, and bruised up and all that, both on the palm and on the outside of the hand, um, sort of like the back of the hand. Um, and it's not generally, to be, to be perfectly honest, it's not generally super uncomfortable or painful. Um, obviously if I knock it or, you know, manipulate it or try and use it, um, then it'll, then it'll be pretty painful. But, uh, ooh. yes sir. Yes sir, indeed. Hmm. Fringe benefit of being in Maine, I guess. But um, but aside from knocking it or manipulating it, it's uh, it's just kind of out of commission. It's not really super super duper painful. Um, the doc wants me to, you know, because the middle finger is broken, sort of a chip in this knuckle. So I got to try and like, this is where it kind of gets painful. Is try and like stretch that as much as possible. He said, you know, as frequently, you know, don't really work it, but. Stretch it, try and avoid losing mobility with it. Um, so that's not super comfortable, but I do that, you know, I do that 
not quite quants not quite constantly but frequently throughout the course of the day oh my goodness these blueberries are everywhere man um doing that very frequently throughout the day oh my goodness i'm gonna have to turn back on later see ya all right well i only just turned off <laughs> um definitely had to mash a few more blueberries I'm gonna try and stay focused here, you guys. It's 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 pretty hard when like there are delicious fresh blueberries growing on the top of this beautiful mountain. But um, yeah, so I got to stretch out the middle finger. Um, the ring finger is just completely out of commission. Um, the ortho didn't necessarily recommend that I stretch it out or anything, but um, I'm kind of feeling like what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I haven't started stretching it yet, um, but I think probably in another few days I'm gonna start trying to just gently kind of you know bend it this way and that um obviously if it's way too painful then i won't but i think i'd like to try and do that um it just kind of feels like a good idea i don't know maybe it's the exact wrong thing to do but that's what we'll do um so that's definitely the big the big health news and as i think i kind of mentioned in yesterday's video i mean who really knows whether it's psychosomatic or what but um, I do kind of feel like the right knee, the right leg, knee and foot is, um, gosh, I'm just dropping stuff, making a mess, is, um, you know, aware of the fact that it doesn't have any assistance from a trekking pole in my left hand anymore. Um, nothing's, oh golly, nothing's super painful or uncomfortable, um, but I think it's just kind of taking a little bit more. I mean, it is. I mean, it's just taking more impacts than it would have if I was using my left trekking pole. It's taking more impact and taking more weight with every single step. So, um, hopefully, and I expect, it shouldn't really be much of an issue. But it is something I wanted to comment on, just in the interest of uh, full disclosure. Jeez, um, it's hard to even take inventory of the rest of my body with a broken hand. A hand that's broken in two places. But, uh... I feel like everything else is doing decent, you know, still the head and guts and, you know, back and uh, everything else. Um, feeling good, so, well, it's far from my um, least exciting health update, but I do not want to tempt the gods by skipping another today, so um, definitely have to log it. Hopefully now I can finish with an intact right hand and uh, the superstition devils won't won't rob me now that I've performed my weekly health update. So anyways, that's that. We'll go ahead, we'll skedaddle on down this mountain. We do have quite a bit of hiking left to do today. Um, again, if, if I'm still feeling good and if time allows and everything else, I think I would like to push to that 22, but I mean, I mean, I don't know anything about this terrain, so we'll kind of see how we fare and see how far we get. All right, well, that's about it for that. I will check in with you all later on at some point. Folks, so it's 419, 79.2 degrees. You can see my pack back here. Um, I've decided to go ahead and quit early. <laughs> it isn't really what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep going another four miles. It's like four or four and a half miles to get to um, sort of the spot I had earmarked as like the place I really wanted to get to. But honestly, it was just it was just hot today, and um, <clears throat> I mean, as you know, if you've been following these videos, it's I, I've done like 120 in the past like four weeks or something. I don't even know what. Uh, it feels like that anyways. Uh, I am feeling good, but honestly, um, there's just one more hill to get over before that other spot. And I'd just rather take it in the morning when the temperature's cooler. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and post up here for the night. There's also, this is a, 
something brook shelter i forget exactly what it's called well you saw it when i woke up this morning you saw it. you knew it before i did so <laughs> um there's a little creek right next door a decent water source the water sources through maine have been kind of hit or miss to be honest so um, i'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of being able to camp right next to a water source here and uh and make the most of it so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get the tent pitched up um get my bunk all straightened out and uh you know, I'll go ahead and put a wrap on the day um, a little bit later. I'll check in with you all then. All right, y'all, 5.55. Um, got the tent all pitched up, finished up dinner. There's the brook. Decided to eat down by the brook. And bear bag, you could probably, maybe, just barely make it out. Oh, somewhere right up here. Somewhere right up there. Um, not nearly regulation distance from the from the tent, but I'll uh, I'll dilute myself into thinking that um, oh pun intended that's a good one I'll dilute myself into thinking that the that the brook will make a difference. So there's the tent all pitched up, ready to go. Yeah, man, today was a good day. Today was definitely a good day. Um, Eighteen point whatever, um, thirty four thousand or thirty four hundred feet of elevation gain or something like that. Tomorrow's going to be um, really, really close to the exact same amount of elevation gain with, um, with about 21 miles of distance. So, um, yeah, kind of part of the thought with stopping here was like, I mean, you know, I didn't really get on trail until like a quarter to eight this morning, which is like at least a good hour after I usually get on trail nowadays. So I'm thinking um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to start at a more sort of typical like six, sometime in the six o'clock hour sort of thing. Um, you know, and just right there, I mean, that, that, that covers that three mile distance right there, the three mile difference. If I were to have started an hour earlier, I would have, I would have um, been three miles down trail already. So anyways, whatever. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow I think is gonna be like my last 20 mile day, maybe the whole trail, which is kind of weird to think about, but you know. We'll see how we go for sure. Um, hand is still holding up all right. I do have my brace already, like that fiberglass brace already in the tent. So I'm gonna be switching out of the soft one and switching into the hard one um, to sleep in. Um, oh, I mean, I really don't have a whole lot, a whole lot more to catch you up on, to be perfectly honest. I think it was a pretty good day and I'm excited for tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll be at Shaw's, which is pretty cool. Oh golly, these flies. All right. I'll check in with you all tomorrow. Have a good one.